There is. We're going to start today with a follow up to the tragic accident in Maple Heights that happened yesterday. Two teenagers were killed and another injured in what witnesses say was a high speed drag race. And they also say road races like this are not unusual. Our January Keaton joins us live with details. January. Yeah, hey, Betsy, the speed limit here along Broadway Avenue and Maple Heights, it fluctuates between, I'd say, 25, 35 miles an hour, depending on what area you're in. But not everybody follows those rules. The folks I talked to around here said speeding and racing is the norm on this stretch of Broadway. Witnesses, they reported seeing those teens you talked about yesterday racing another car between 80 and 100 miles an hour right before that deadly crash you talked about. And folks who live and work here say... The stretch of Broadway is notorious for racing and speeding. Maple Heights Police Lieutenant Joseph Morrison told me crashes like that yesterday, they're rare, but street racing is it, it's not as, I'm sorry, the crashes and street racing are both rare. They're not reported often, but he says speeding is a huge problem. Now, I met up with Lorenzo Cole at the crash site. He admits he used to street rate. He lost his brother in that crash yesterday. He liked fast cars, so he saw that Mustang and probably one of the straight cars, and he was like, oh, yeah, let's race, let's race, and... How can you tell if someone wants to race, though? If the other driver said, yeah, let's go. Yeah, he said he used to street race. He doesn't do it anymore. He says it is not something you should engage in. He doesn't even like to speed anymore. Now, Lieutenant Mosirin told me the department does not have the manpower to enforce the speed limit by posting officers along Broadway Avenue because they're busy taking other calls. They said they do have officers that run radar around here. They also have an, uh, uh, an enforcement sign. It'll tell officers how fast people are going and what time of day they're going that speed and the best they can do is just maybe post an officer in that area during that time of day and hope they can catch folks. It mm. really is a hard problem to police Betsy. Well it is and that's not the only place in Cleveland and Northeast Ohio that it happens the shoreway right outside our own back door. We always hear the cars revving there and boy we heard that one right behind you rev his engine too. So. Yeah absolutely. And he was speeding. So if you guys had seen me out on camera, you would have saw him. He was speeding. It is a huge problem out here. But like they said, it's hard to enforce. By the time the police get out here, those speeders are long gone. All right, January, thank you so much.